freshly updated 16 gigabyte image showcase theme box alloy green magazine madness some great things freshly updated 16 gigabyte cool bezels a lot of other little tricked out stuff on here let's check it out all right we're in we're using the Tronsmart G01 controller wireless affordable Xbox 360 style controller this is level one online's new 16 gigabyte image it's been out for a couple weeks now wanted to give it a whirl he really does his homework I know you added bezels a couple other things to this image so I want to give it a give it a little whirl see what's going on here um, it is a 16 gig a couple things to think about 16 gig is if you have a 16 gigabyte card lying around you know it's a great size it's plenty good especially for a portable or something like that um, you can see here it's got arcade it even has some PlayStation games on a 16 gig you got Mega Man and Capcom vs SNK uh, it does have Cody retro pie so all games the 16 gig is only rocking a 4035 total count which is still really great um, 32s can get up to around 10 grand at the highest but usually around seven or eight thousand and then uh, you know 128 you can often uh, get close to 15 16 K with that said you know if you have a 32 gigabyte card lying around you know that doesn't have a lot of extra space and you have an issue shrinking or getting 32s onto it this might be a good option for you and this is an updated image so it's gonna have your latest version of RetroPie it also has a lot of themes already pre-installed including showcase simple big art sterling comic book theme retro rama phil's dudo space oddity phil's dudo's art book box alloy blue carbon futura dark green alicious magazine madness you name it so let's start this out with showcase i might move on to magazine madness now starting out nintendo 791 you have all your nintendo games this is an image only there is no video snaps that's how you're able to hold so many games on such a small micro SD card. As I mentioned, micro SDs are cheap at the 16, but you can actually buy a 32 for the same price as a 16 a lot of the time. They're both in the $10 range, uh, you know, maybe 11 or 12 max. Um, so 786 on Super Nintendo, 105 on Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis 800. So as I was mentioning, you know, a lot of times people would go for the 32. But if you are going for a 16, this is a great way to, as I mentioned, a 32 with not a lot of space. Maybe you got a free 16 gigabyte in the mail with your camera or your phone, and you upgrade to something bigger, 33 on the 32X. Neo Geo 146, you got it for free, so you have them laying around. The other thing is maybe you put it on a 32, and then you add some of your favorite games on top of this, right? It could be maybe a base image for you, something to get started on. Something that's already kind of pre-set up for a lot of the systems that you want. So Neo Geo 146. Let's see if they have the metal slug. I know some people have been not putting all the metal slugs in. One, two, three, four, and five, and X. Nice. So with the arcade games, you get a screenshot of the game because there's no box art. As you see here, you get a little, some of them have box art. Some of them don't. Whatever the scraped picture is, but it looks like there's a lot of scraping going on here. MAME 1190. Let's see if we have some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, everyone's like, Drew, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, though. Best game ever. Yeah, so you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> and the scroll, so you can see the whole thing. Two-player version. World, four-player version. And then you have the two, two and one, four-player as well, I'm sure. Tetris Plus 2, awesome game. Then we have our CPS 1, 32, CPS 2, 38, CPS 3, 6. TurboGrafx 16, you got 104. Some box art. PlayStation, you have the 3. And then Cody, RetroPie. This is running 4.3.5, so freshly updated. In the file manager here, you see you have an extra 2 gigabytes left. So that's cool. You can always add some more things to it. 2 gigabytes, so it's only using... Uh, you know, it's saying you only get 14 out of 16, so it's using 12 gigabytes total. The reason why it's not using much space is because uh, there is no video snaps on here. A lot of people don't realize how much video snaps take up. And although they are beautiful and they make an image awesome, you could pack a punch if you don't put those video snaps in there as far as getting a lot 
on something. So I just changed it to Magazine Madness. I'm a fan of this one too. Pretty cool, big screen here. So like CPS one, and then you have your box art here, or your uh, logos, the Punisher. All right, so as you can see, there's bezels on both the right and left of the screen. Got him. Get that money. There you go. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. You can mess with the shaders if you want. I like the bezel though. It's nice, kind of adds to the experience, fills in the black marks. So there you have it. So that's a CPS game. Another kind of cool thing is with the Game Boy Advanced. Let's do like Donkey Kong Country 2, for example. You'll notice here that the bezel is set up exactly for the screen here. So this is really cool. So the image is not stretched at all. It's like playing... Uh, what was that for Super Nintendo? Game Boy Big or Large Game Boy? When you used to be able to put Game Boy games in your SNES? Oh, is that guy not bad? Look at those sound effects. Great game, by the way. Ooh. What are these rats? Those are the ones that are not. Get the rhino. All right. So you get the point. Pretty cool that the portable uh, allows you to go in. Um, so something about this is it doesn't have uh, your Game Boy, your Virtual Boy. It's just Nintendo, Game Boy Band, Super, Sega, 32X, Neo Geo, MAME, CPS 1 through 3, Turbo Graphics, PlayStation. So you're missing your Game Boys, your Ataris, uh, some other systems that some people like to have, your Mega Drive, things like that. But I mean, a lot of this, if you guys ever watch my streams, a lot of what I play is all right here. Let's do check out a, um, a Neo Geo game really quick. But So it is a limited collection. And then with the Game Boy Advance, you only get 100 where there's, you know, it's probably close to um, over 1,000 with the Game Boy Advance. Ooh, got me. Got him. Got him. Bang, boom. Dang, he just clocked me. Got him. Ooh. That's what happens when you roll your biceps. You can do cartwheels like that. Oh, he's blinking. It's usually a good sign. Oh, two rolls. Got him. Go! Okay. So, there you have it. I mean, love the bezels. Love that, you know, it's the full collections on a lot of these systems, but Game Boy, it's a select collection. MAME, I mean, 1190, that's most of it. You have all the CPSs. Turbo graphics get all of them. PlayStation, you just get a select few. You kind of got to do that on the 16 size. But um, a lot of themes already installed, as I mentioned. You know, you got probably about 10 themes. So those of you that don't know how to install a theme, it's done. It's cool. It is a 16 gigabyte. So, uh, you know, as I mentioned, it's not a super popular size for people. But some ways to think about it is either, A, you have a 32 card laying around that just doesn't accept a lot of standard 32s because it's a cheap SD card. Or B, you want to start with a 32 or 64, and you can start this as a base, and then you can always add to it later. It has Kodi, it has everything, the latest RetroPie, so a lot of things are pre-set up for you, so that's that's great in itself. Uh, my controller auto-started, auto-configured, got me to the right screen, so 
really easy to do. I'm gonna have to give this one, as far as a 16 gigabyte, I'll give it an A. Awesome, awesome stuff. It's great. As far as with all the other images out there, I would way rather go with a 32 or a 64 if it was me. But again, that's just me. If you're looking for this size, it's an A. So keep that in mind. It is what it is for what it is. Awesome. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.